yeah welcome back and in this video we're going to be talking about the string iterations so iteration is nothing but it is the repetition or we can say it loop right so what the goal of this video is like suppose you have a string and you want to fetch the characters one by one so we'll uh, see understand this thing with the help of an example suppose i have the string suppose i have x is equal to and i have say ws cube tech and what i want to do is i want to fetch uh, now if you just print this it will going to print this it will say ws cube tech that works fine now what if i want to print as one by one element that is the character that is first w then s then c then u so in that case uh, uh, there are multiple uh, ways you can do these things so first way is like you can uh, simply use uh, the index value over here so suppose i say zero so it will just uh, give you the index uh, the value which is at index point zero so it will give you w similarly you can go for next suppose i say print and say x of uh, 1 so it will give you the value which is at that index uh, s so in this way this is the first way which way uh, you can go and fetch the uh, your each character from your string but what if your uh, string is of uh, it's it's of it's so long so in that case uh, uh, doing this thing would be very time consuming so in the other uh, uh, way is we can use loops so first we will check the for loop so in case of for loop also there are two ways but the first way is by a range you can do that so we'll see this now suppose if i say you know, we know how to declare range right so for i in range so uh, i is nothing but you can say it is a counter so uh, in order to declare a range you need to mention here about the length of your a uh, string so now we uh, either you can uh, manually count it or you can simply use a range a length function we have studied about that so in order to fill this uh, uh, parameter in order to pass here the parameter we should know the length so what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to create another variable say a is equal to and i'm going to say that find out the length of my x so it will just find out and let's just print it so that we get an i uh, the result and we'll use that result in our range uh, function so you can see we are getting 11 so now we know what's our, the length of our string so we can simply use this value over here so i'm just going to say for i in range and i mean i will say that it start with zero so by it's by default it's zero so i'm just going to say go till length the, uh, so my length is in a and give it a colon and now i want to just print so i'm just going to say print now what you do you print the values of uh, which is your index so that is x of i so when you're going to run it you can see that you are getting w s c u so i is nothing but it's a counter variable it is a temporary uh, temporary counter and in that basically what happens it uh, stores the index of each iteration so as you can see here, I, I, I can just uh, for your simplicity I can just put here i so that you get an idea like what is stored in i so you can see here see so the i is nothing but the temporary counter so it gets incremented one by one so basically what is happening over here is first we have to take out the length so that we can put that value over here in range so uh, my loop will start from 0 to up to this length and uh, in this case what it will do is it will print whatever the uh, the uh, the ith position that is uh, the first the i will be at zero so it will uh, just fetch this element it will print that w then again this loop will work then the i will be at one so it will take this element s and it will print and likewise it will go till this point and we know that in range it is just minus one so that if your this is 11 the length is 11 it will be minus one because it starts with zero we have already know, studied this thing so this is a second way that is by using for and range you can uh, just fetch the elements one by one what if i don't want to use range so in that case what i can do is i will uh, use the for loop itself that is the easiest way what i feel as so far so what i can do is i can just simply say that for i in x fine because that is my string and i just want print i isn't it that simple uh, so this is just going to print your each value that is i so basically what is happening over here is that uh, 
uh, first it will read this line and when it uh, enters into this for loop so basically what it will do it will come over here the x it will check for it will go over here in the string and here it will see the first element that is w so w will be in the i and it will print that uh, w over here then again this loop will work and in case uh, here in x it will be in, uh, the i will be at s and then it will just fetch that s into i and it will print s so likewise it will go till the end of your string so this was about the second way by, by using the for loop uh, in, in this case we are not making use of range all right and we can even use the while loop as well so we'll just uh, see for that thing so in this case also we need a length because we need uh, we will require that thing so i will say a is equal to and say uh, give it a length uh, pass i'm going to pass the parameter x so this will have my a is having my length and uh, i'm not printing it now i don't want that length it was just for the making you guys understand that uh, how to uh, uh, how we can uh, access this thing in, a, in our use that uh, value in our this so we can just uh, use it or simply you can just print it uh, not an issue and here what i'm going to say as you have uh, we have studied the while loop so in that uh, thing we have uh, i have uh, told you about the three things that is first we do the initialization then the condition and the update update modification so the similar thing we're going to follow here so i'm just going to say that start i is equal to from zero and uh, I'm going to just give the condition that till i is less than equal to my length, which is in a. And I'm just going to say that uh, uh, what you do, you just print print x of i, and I'm just modify. If you don't uh, do that thing, i is equal to i plus one, so it will go into the infinity loop, and we don't want that. So this is just as simple. So as you can see here, it will just print it. So basically what is happening over here is that uh, we have to count the length, fine. So because we want uh, our, uh, we want to put here the condition that till what condition it should go. And we have initialized from uh, uh, zero. So it will start with zero. And so here what it will be now, we'll just print the uh, length so that I can help you guys under, uh, know uh, to understand this. So I will say, say print A. So it's 11, fine. So our condition will work as here it will be from 0 is less than 11. So yes, if when the condition becomes true, it will come over here, it will go here and it will just, what it will do, it will just print, uh, it will uh, come over here that is x of i. So basically, just a second. So what it will do, uh, when the condition gets true, it will enter in this loop and it will just print the uh, value which is at index 0. So w will be printed and then the increment, uh, we don't have increment over here, but uh, uh, the modification of i, the i will go to the next, uh, this uh, s index value. And uh, similarly, the condition will now here, it will become as, uh, uh, it, uh, it starts with 0, so it will be now 1 is less than 11. And then it will enter over here and it will say that, yes, it uh, the condition is true, it will print the second element that is the s over here then the modification and this loop will go till it is less than equal to uh, not equal to it is less than 11. So this is how the while loop will work. So we'll just do a quick recap over here. So basic the uh, goal of this video is about how we can uh, access single elements or single characters uh, from a string. So we can do that thing by uh, just making use of the index value but it is a long procedure it is a time consuming processor so we won't use that when we have the other provisions which are quite simple and easy to use and even the time consuming is less so we will go for the loop so in the first scenario we have seen about the for loop so in that for loop we have seen by two ways we can do that thing so in two ways we can the first uh, way was by using the range so in that range you need to know the length so up to that range, uh, up to that length, you need to put that uh, length uh, into your range parameter, uh, that function. And when you do those say, uh, case, uh, uh, you are getting by a range. And the second way we saw was by using the for loop itself, which was quite easy. Uh, and in the third way, we saw while using a while loop, which you have here, the practical implementation over here. 
so in this case also you are just uh, you need to know the length and because you want to put that thing into your condition and while using a while loop we, we know that we need to uh, know these three things first one is the initialization and then we give the condition over here and the last one is the update don't forget to update this thing because if you don't do this it will go into the uh, there will be no finite condition you can just simply see over here so it will it will just go on and go on so you need to stop that thing so just make sure that you just uh, include this thing that is do the modification so that it doesn't goes into the infinity condition and all so this was all about how you can access uh, a particular characters from uh, your string and we saw this three ways so see you in the next video